Welcome back, everybody, on your Thursday. Time for the daily list this morning. Um, I just got back from vacation. It was two weeks. I, I feel like this is a great a nice, time. Long time. Yeah. nice long time. Nice long time. So I thought I would uh, do a little uh, looking into what the perfect length vacation is to take. Well, researchers have finally okay. pinpointed oh. the precise length your vacation should run. Okay. okay. Now, this was reported by Lifehacker recently. No. <laughs> New That's research published in the Journal of Happiness Studies has found okay. the perfect vacation length to maximize your relaxation and stress melting away. Okay. okay. 55 participants took vacations of 14 days or longer for this study and periodically had their health and well-being assessed before, during, and after the trip. And ultimately, the findings painted an interesting picture of the ideal vacation length. All right, let me start with the basics here. Okay. okay. Number one, eight days is the minimum length that a vacation should be. Okay. Yeah, they say they minimum? theorize. Yeah, minimum should be eight days <laughs> because that is the length of time it takes for someone to forget about their work stress and responsibilities. And I would agree. Mm. It took me a number of days to stop checking email, yeah. stop thinking about work, stop thinking about you people, and what was happening? <laughs> because you would, don't you, when you go on vacation, you yeah. wake up and you think, oh, it's five o'clock in the morning. Right now, they're doing the headlines. Yeah. Oh, they're doing this right now, <laughs> yes. right? You got it a, a couple of days, let right? Go. Minimum let eight days. Okay. 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 Number two, there's also a limit to vacation bliss. Okay. Day 11 is when there is an acute drop off oh. in enjoyment <sighs> as the vacationers begin to develop a little bit of homesickness and a longing for their regular routine. Okay. So the law okay. of diminishing returns, I see what you're saying. Right? Okay. So you start to get like, you, you start to want your stuff. You start to miss your pets. Mm -hmm. You start to just want your stuff around you. So where does that leave you? Right smack in the middle. The perfect vacation length, about 10 days. Okay. That's the right amount of time. Right? It's about a week and a half. Done gone, and for, done. Done for, gone for a nice week. You come back in the middle of a week. You have a maybe a two-day work week, and then you have a weekend, then you That's go back to a full work week. That's the key, right? <laughs> you don't want to come back on a Monday like I did. It was horrible. <laughs> I had the worst Monday ever. The study also cited a prior study about um, uh, mortality risk with not taking a yearly vacation. It's very important to take time off if you have vacation time coming. Uh, it also boosts your career. You know, if you can't make up your mind uh, on where to go, um, maybe take a nice long trip to Europe. Uh, it might not cost you that much. Right now, there are great deals to Europe, and I did a daily list mm -hmm. recently for Best Buys for October. This is a great time to buy a European vacation. Mm -hmm. The dollar is strong there, and it's what they call a shoulder season, so it's a great time to uh, look at buying uh, maybe a vacation over Overseas, maybe a cruise or a nice trip uh, over the pond, as they say, right? Okay. Ten days. Okay, right that's the magic right? number. More at GoodDaySacramento.com. Click show info and then today's date. You can read all about it.